y'all welcome to my channel Ellery here I don't have a stitch of makeup on it I feel really old looking right now but you know we're about to um, get into the spirit not even my brows I'm about to do my brows like right now um, for this spring festival makeup tutorial I always do some type of spring tutorial last year I did festival makeup tutorial and I liked it I thought it looked pretty neato I have something in mind but it's not really organized in my head. It's like a little chaotic. So hopefully we get that situated. I'm gonna start with my brows first. I don't know why I'm dancing. I think I had too much coffee. I'm gonna start with my brows first. I'm using Benefit's Cabral. When Benefit first came out with their brow products that, you know, are the shiz naive. Cabral was one of the first ones I gravitated to just because um, I feel like you can get a lot of wear and uh, product out of these things because they last super long because you only need a smidget and then I had ran out of this and I switched to precisely my brow in number four but I just ran out of that so I switched back to this my brows are on the thicker side as of lately I don't get my eyebrows waxed or anything I usually just like tweeze right under here but at one point like this part was like thinning out because I like over tweezed it which I still do from time to time sometimes I over tweeze on accident you know you get that one hair and it messes like the whole lineup up so um so usually when that happens and I tweeze too much off and I want my eyebrows to grow like faster I use this Bravo conditioning primer this is also benefit of course but after the hair grows back I stop using it because it I'll be like okay you can stop now I mean I'm not trying to get my full eighth grade eyebrow back and I do believe this helps a lot with like growth at least for me anyways this brush I'm using that I always use for my eyebrows is from Dose of Colors spoolie on one side and this really flat angled side and I like to shape out my brows with this for some reason though the tip of my eyebrow like grows in so weird so I always have to use the brow product to fill that part in make it a little thicker See, now I got some thickness. Look at this one. A little sperm brow. Struggling. All right, and then I just clean off the same brush and clean them all up with some concealer. I was planning on making this like a full face makeup tutorial but I just got through procrastinating after I did my eyebrows so now I'm like running out of time so I think I'm just gonna do my eyes and do my foundation and concealer all that on my next video I get distracted very easily like it's really sad I'm trying to tell you and I am telling you I'm not when? All right, so I'm gonna do one eye, my face, and I'll be back. All right, we're back. This actually is really easy. I planned on doing something like way cooler, but I kind of like the simplicity of it, you know? It's really easy to do, and it still screams festival with the neon colors. Like, I'm happy with it. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Gonna prime the eye first with CoverGirl's Lid Lock. Now, I got makeup all over the place, so you might see like specks of pink on this palette. It's not from this palette, it's from the mess I made when I made my splatter. But this is the Pure Boxy Charm palette. And the first color I used out of here is this purple matte. It is called BFF. And I just used a small tapered blending brush to like buff this above my crease and connected it to my lower lash line. Always a good idea to start with a little and build it up slowly. Just using a clean brush to soften it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade called Bell, and I'm gonna place this all over my lid. I just wanted a soft color on the lid since the neons are gonna kinda like steal the show, you know? For the inner corner of my eye, I used Mia, this shimmery blue color down here. Initially, I had just tried to go straight in with the eyeshadow and put it, you know, in that small section, but it didn't really show up well because I don't have any primer down there. So I went over it with primer and added it again and it really popped, so note to self. So I'm gonna add the primer first on this eye so I don't make the same mistake, and then pop in the blue right on top. 
For my waterline, I used LA Girls Limelight Gel Eye Pencil. I had to add a few layers of that to really make it pop. Alright, here comes the fun part. Ooh. So I feel like every year, well not every year, because I only did like a festival inspired tutorial like one other time. But the other time I used these same colors because they are just they just scream like festival. Especially last year I went to a neon festival. You need neon colors for a neon festival. So I always end up busting out my Melt Cosmetics Radioactive stack. It has these fun neon colors that most people would think, oh, you're never gonna need those, but I bring them out every year, cause they're fun. So what you wanna do is, it's very simple. I just got like a fluffy, small fluffy brush. This one came out of like my Dose of Colors palette. And then you wanna get something to mix the splatter onto. So you can use a mixing tray, or for me, I couldn't find mine, so I just used this small mirror I had. And the first color I did was pink. You can go in any order or use any colors you want to use. And then I just scraped a little pink onto this little tray. Then I just sprayed the brush with some setting spray. And you wanna mix the moist brush into the pigment. And you basically want it to be moist enough to where the color will actually flick on your face. Like you don't want it to be too dry where nothing's gonna splatter or it's gonna be too thick. And you don't want it to be too wet to where it makes like a huge mess. Don't make it too wet, but don't make it too dry. Make it just right. Then I just put the brush next to my face and kind of just flipped it in the areas I wanted it to go. And then you just want to do the same thing with all the other colors you choose to use. So the next one I'm going to do is green. If you're going to use the same brush for each color, make sure you clean it off each time to make everything like true to color. Of course it turned out way better on this side you know if you're missing like a little bit of color somewhere just use like the small end of a brush and get a lot of pigment and just a little bit of setting spray on it and just like make a little dot but don't be like too obvious because it's supposed to be abstract it's not supposed to be perfect even though the goal is perfect all right so like I said the more precise you are or you know you can always put something over the rest of your face I just you know I just didn't. But if you want to make sure you don't have splatter all over your face, you know, you can kind of drape maybe a t-shirt or something over it to just be, you know, concentrating this area. If not, you know, I did get some splatter over my face a bit, quite a bit. When I first try to like flick it off, because you don't want to really rub it in until you got most of it off, otherwise it's going to like turn that part of your face the color it is. So I just tried to flick some of it off first and then I got my mineralized skin finish and then I went over those areas to kind of dust away the flicker fallout. And I'm trying to make sure it matches both sides which it doesn't but you know. Now I'm gonna get some liner. I'm trying out this Carbon Black Bobbi Brown liquid eyeliner I just got today actually. Of course have fun with it. Use a colored liner if you'd like but when I wear lashes I tend to gravitate at least on the lash line black because I feel like it blends in my lashes a lot better since my lash line isn't consistent. It's like that's my lash line so if I don't put black liner on first sometimes you can see gaps through it. So I'm going to line this part of my eye normal and then on the wing I'm going to leave in a gap. This is actually a really small detail that you probably couldn't even see on this eye. Well you can see it. You can see that glitter. It's not a small detail. Let's get back into it. What was I talking about? So I used my handy dandy white gold eye jewels glitter liner by Tarte. You've seen this on my channel plenty of times. And this side is just the white gold liner and then this side is the white glitter liner. So first, just to be you know a little bit more precise and clean, I use the white gold plain side to fill in the gap. And I did this side first because if I had did the liner first and then went to go clean up around it with the black, it would have been a little bit more bumpy because of the, the glitter. Now I'm just going to clean up those lines with the black, being very careful. 
And then I'm gonna go on the glitter side and carefully apply a little bit of that right on top of the gold. Bam! For the inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna add my Jackie Aina Artist Couture Le Bronze. I'm gonna use this a little later for my highlight as well. See it popping? Pop that sucker right in the inner corners. I kind of spread it a little on my lid too, not all the way, but like on the top inner portion of the lid because it kind of coordinated with the rose in it, you know, and the rose in here, you know. Spread that on out. Spread the love. Now I'm just gonna add my lashes and mascara. I believe these lashes are from the House of Lashes Sephora collection, but I'm not sure. I've worn them a few times. This is what they look like. And I'm gonna try to put these as close to the lash line as possible so that that glitter still shows through. Pop on a little bit of that and gal bang mascara from Benefit. And just to the tips of my false lashes so they could pop a little more in front of this pink fight. And for the highlighter, I mean, by all means, have fun with it. Make it your own. If you want to throw on a purple or an iridescent highlighter, have at it. I'm sure it will look really beautiful. But for me, I wanted the look to look more wearable than anything. I didn't want to completely transform into a unicorn, even though I love unicorns. I still wanted to, you know, look like, make it look as wearable as possible aside from the paint fight. So I kept my highlighter the same. I used Lucy and LeBron's, applying Lucy first, and then LeBron's right on top. So last year when I did my festival look, and you know, I used all the neon colors. I kept it really simple with the lip, you know, and I just did a gloss. But this year, you know, I'm gonna be a little more risque. And I'm going to use a colored matte gloss, Yoshi from the Ellery ColourPop collab. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it, you know? Go hard or go the home. All right, all right. We're festival ready, bro. Let's go. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this spring festival tutorial. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go in here and subscribe. If you recreate this look, make sure you guys tag me or use my hashtag on Instagram so I can check, check, check it out. But yeah, that's it. So until next time, love you guys. Mwah.